So I was playing around and I just made this, only using AI tools. This warrior here, well, I just made the image on TensorArt and I just used Merzity in order to create this moving effect. And there's a lot of these effects and I found a lot of channels doing the exact same thing. Honestly, I also tried using Luma Labs. I know that a lot of people are using it right now, but I don't think it's right quality. And also, it just takes a lot of time to make a certain video. As you can see, it makes realistic videos fast from text and images, but I'll show you how realistic this looks. Here it is. This is something that I made yesterday and it took me five hours because the demand is like too high and you gotta pay for it if you just wanna use it, right? So yeah, just have a look at the result. Once upon a time, a boy named Jack lived near a secret forest. One sunny morning, he decided to explore it. As Jack ventured in, he found himself climbing over big, mossy rocks. So yeah, not that good, right? You have to pay for it. If you want to switch your images, if you want to bring your images to life, you want to pay for it. And then again, you just have to write a really good prompt. This is not something if you don't have time for regular content creating, right? So I wanted to make something like this. This is a channel called History in a Nutshell. And probably the same owner has this one, Bible in a Nutshell. And this is all, as well, all created with AI. The best thing is that videos like this are great for telling stories. And as you can see, these videos generate a lot of views and they're making some great dough with it as well. As you can see, 4.5 thousand each month. And this is underestimated because Social Blade always does that. But you can do it in any niche out there, right? You can do it in history. You can do it with any kind of documentaries. You can go with Bible stories. Whatever you want to do, you can create this on your own and you don't have to pay for nothing. Let me go with an example, all right? We're just going to go step by step on how to make that warrior. Let's just say that I'm into Vikings and I want to make content relevant to that. So firstly, this is how I start to get myself a prompt. Chat GPT helps me to get perfect prompt for any kind of image. For example, you just ask Chat GPT to describe something to you. In this case, please describe me ancient Nordic warriors. I made some typos here, but yeah, I ignore that. And then ChatGPT will give you this kind of response. So ancient Nordic warriors often referred to as Vikings, blah, 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 blah. And then there's appearance and then there's gear, there's training and skills, there's culture and beliefs, raids and expansion, legacy. So it gives you really, really deep description on anything, right? You can just ask for the same description about, I don't know, lions or crocodiles, whatever you want to make. And then the next prompt is going to be like this. Can you make me image generation prompt using the appearance information above? That is this appearance, all right? This one that ChatGPT gave you. So can you make this with the appearance information above, like if I'm to create AI generated image from that prompt. And of course, ChatGPT is gonna provide you with the perfect prompt, all right? So this is what you gotta use. This is the prompt for us. Now, you can use Midjourney, you can use Magic Studio with Canva. Canva has great tool for image generation, but then you can use this. This is my favorite one. This is called TensorArt. You can't just Google for it, like Tensor Art, and it's gonna be the first result here. It is free, and it's always gonna be. And here's the image. I just added this, create Pixar 3D image of an ancient Nordic warrior. Now it's just ChatGPT's description, ChatGPT's prompt. I just like using these because I just saw they work, right? So that's why I'm using them. So the next step is to choose the model here, and you can see that I'm using ProtoVision XL. And you can find it by clicking on models. You're probably going to have basic model, like something realistic or something like that. So you just have to type in Proto, right? Proto, and here it is. Proto Vision XL. All right, that's the one that you got to use. And then you just generate. Let me just show you how quickly this works. I just like the quickness of it. 
here it is at 14 20 25 29 so it is pretty pretty fast unlike the luma Labs, which took me forever to make something on it right so yeah let's just wait it out to see the result that tensor art can give us you can see that i made a few of these and you can see down there that i made that boy yesterday that i wanted to turn into a video but i gave up on it because yeah it just takes too much time so here it is the new picture new generation and it looks pretty cool so what do you want to do next you just want to download this image to your computer and then just Google for Immersity AI. All right, so that's the thing. When you land onto it, you will just have to make yourself an account like all of these other websites. And all you have to do now is to choose this animation. Perspective is always good. And you can see that it gives a little bit of depth, right? And it's really looking good. You might make this in maybe Premiere Pro, but it would take a lot more time and as you can see amount of motion you can just go and just play with it you know and each one of your pictures is going to move and on top of it you will have the voiceover you can always use 11 labs for that i just love 11 labs and you're going to have captions over it and i like to use CapCut for it but firstly we need a script and chat gpt is always there for us now there's two ways of doing this first of all you can just write a prompt like this one and chat gpt is gonna provide as you can see it's writing me like literally it's giving me the script but then again if you like any kind of videos on youtube you can just take the transcript from these videos and then you can use chat gpt to make you something based on that don't just copy and paste the entire script like word for word. Just use ChatGPT. So you just paste the script of a video that you like into this box here, of course, and then just ask it to make another story which is relevant to that one, right? So if you like anything, take the script, use ChatGPT to make it your own, and then you can just proceed to make the voiceover. Now, I'm sure that you've watched a lot of these videos and you know how to use 11 Labs, so I'm not gonna waste your time with it. All you have to do is to paste the text right here, click on the play button, blah, 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 you download it. And then, of course, you just have to use the cap cut. Some of you might not know, but there is auto captions here. If you head over here to captions and then click on auto captions, you choose the language it works in many languages then just click on generate button here and of course it's gonna provide it's gonna give you the captions for all of this text that you have and of course you can customize this one if you click on it you can see here animation and then there's like a lot of these templates which you can use in order to present your captions to your audience so for example let's just take this one this a boy named example. jack lived near a secret a forest boy named jack lived in a secret forest blah 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 just play with it and yeah just watch how other people are doing it after all these all these people are there before us right so it is good to learn from people that are successful in your own niche remember that and then just try and repeat right make a lot of mistakes the more mistakes you make the better you're going to be at the end right don't give all of the work to someone else even if you can't pay for it right even if you're sitting on a pile of cash and you just want to pay someone on fiverr on upwork just make a few of these videos yourself right make like 10 of these yourself you're gonna understand the process right you're gonna see what works and what doesn't work so when someone else sends you their draft on I don't know videos images whatever you will know that something is good or something is bad right so learn 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 just study and do some research it's gonna pay off and did I mention to research your competition yeah I did so research your competition whatever the niche bible stories kids animals whatever just go and see what other people are doing right and go check them out and don't use luma labs if you don't want to pay for it because let me just show you if i click on try now here you can see that just have a look at this created about seven hours ago so i wanted to make this one but seven hours and it says right here Due to high demand, we are temporarily limiting free tiers to four generations per day. Paid tiers have no wait times and no daily limit. And if you click on it, 
Here it is. Standard version is $24 per month, and it is not unlimited. You are limited with these generations per month. I mean, it's totally fine to get this standard version, but until I see that it works fine, and until I'm satisfied with it, I don't want to pay for it, right? And you can see that it goes to Premiere, which is $400 per month. This is just crazy, right? We got to wait for some more competition here and then they will reduce some prices, right? So that's it. So this is for the yearly version of it, right? If you switch over to monthly, this is what you get. So as I've told you, Immersity AI is more than enough to keep your audience engaged, right? And you can use this one for free. It is limited, but it is enough if it's just gonna get you started, right? So this is what you have to do, and this is what you need in order to make your videos as engaging as possible, right? And there's like a lot of these functions which you can play with. Then just add some music from YouTube audio library in order to not have problems with copyright, and you're done with it, right? So be consistent with it, do research. No kind of video can get you started. Only you can do that. Wish you good luck and I'll catch you next time.